Willimantic, Connecticut is what some may refer to as a hidden gem. I'm here in this beloved city today to tell you everything you need to know about this historic and beautiful place. Located in the eastern corner of the state, Willimantic is considered to be a city inside of a town. Wyndham, the town Willimantic sits inside, is also composed of North Wyndham, South Wyndham, and Wyndham Center. Today, Willimantic is considered home for just about anyone, from business owners to families and even college students. This city caters to everyone's needs. Eastern Connecticut State University, the city's main campus, sits in the heart of Willimantic and is a public liberal arts university. Eastern swim coach Sarit Glues explains just what makes this place so great. Um, I love the openness of the town and the space. I think that being in the quiet corner is for me. Um, there's a good community. Everybody kind of supports each other. Um, I really like the farmer's markets and how easily walkable Willimantic is. A quiet corner Willimantic is indeed. Although many may assume there is not much offered here, that is actually incorrect. Willimantic carries an enriching history full of pride. When asked to describe Willimantic in one word, this is what Sarit had to say. Adorable. Over time, Willimantic has flourished into a beautiful community that is rich in history. Many flock to this city to observe the several railroad lines running through the community. Another historic place to visit is the Willimantic Public Library. What was originally named the Willimantic Library Association, its doors opened back in 1853 and was open to all. In 1896, a fire destroyed the original library, resulting in a building of a new one. The new library was built and its name was changed to what is now known as the Willimantic Public Library. Library Director Dan Piquet took the time to explain just how profound of an impact the library has made on the community of Willimantic. Uh, I love being able to help the community and to uh, see all the great people that come in and support the library because we have a lot of great support here in this community. Um, and so it, it just feels nice to be able to give back to the community and have it uh, enjoyed. Not only is Willimantic home to warriors, but it's also a place where businesses gather and share their unique talents with the community. Main Street in Willimantic is known for having several diverse businesses for people to enjoy. They have exquisite food places such as Willy Brew, a Cupcake for Later, Thread City Diner, and Grounded Coffee Company. Not to mention, there are plenty of shops to be perused by both locals and out-of-town visitors, such as The Bench Shop and Bliss Marketplace. The best part about all these places? They are all locally owned and operated. This just establishes a stronger sense of community within the city of Willimantic. Eastern senior Megan Gallagher explained just how special this city really is by reflecting on one of her favorite college memories spent in Willimantic. I think my favorite college memory is probably just taking a walk like with my friends around downtown and just taking in all the sights of Willimantic. Founded in 1889, Eastern is quite historic in itself, with it being the third oldest public university in the state. The school originally started off as the Willimantic State Normal School and was opened by Arthur B. Morrill, a graduate of Yale University. The first graduating class was composed of 29 young women who began their teaching program under the instruction of Morrill. In June of 1891, the first graduation ceremony sent 22 educated women out to become teachers around the state of Connecticut. Today, Eastern has over 4,000 students enrolled at the university. I sat down with Tara Hunt, the university's archivist from the J. Eugene Smith Library, as she explained the history of Eastern on a much deeper level. I think the most interesting or, and, and compelling part is that when you look at the history, I, I mentioned it, was, it started in a building on the third floor, then, then it had its own building where Schaefer is now. And if you look at how we've expanded, again, we, are, we just keep growing and growing and growing. And, and we are so interti intertwined with the community. That's what I think is the most interesting part of our history because even if you find one story, then you find someone else, small town, you find someone else and someone, and there's all these interconnected pieces. 
it is safe to say that Willimantic has a lot to offer. From its enriching history to the delicious foods and even the unique shops, this city certainly never has a dull moment. With a strong sense of community, those who live in the area are more than lucky to call Willimantic their home. Reporting for ETV News, Eastern's television network, I'm Emily Madden with Kaylee Roberts behind the camera.